Welcome! This video shows you how to create an import booking in Magaya software for a customer. There are a few ways to create a booking. You can go to bookings and click the add button. You can also go to the booking list and click the add button there. Or if you have already created a quotation, you can go find your quotation and then click the actions button to create the booking from the quotation. Your customers can also create a booking online through Livetrack. This is available through our online booking plugin. In this video, we'll create a booking manually so we can show you all the steps. Bookings can also be added to trips. In order to create a trip, go to the trip schedule and then you can use the add button here. A trip is simply a master shipment. In this video, we've already created a trip and what we're going to do is add a booking to this trip. Let's go to bookings and here's the booking screen. There are two main types of bookings in Magaya. If you click the actions button, you'll see the first one called a quick booking. The quick booking is designed to create a booking very quickly. If you want more information on your booking, you can uncheck this and then you can select your template. The one with more information is called a standard booking. Let's go ahead and uncheck the quick booking entry and then click add air booking import. We can fill out all these fields, but in order to save some time, we can link the booking to the trip. Let's skip over to the routing tab, click this button next to flight number, find the trip and then click OK. Notice there's some information already populated. So now let's go back to the general tab and enter the remaining data. The reference number is your reference number for the booking. This is also related to the house file number. The system automatically generates this and you can configure it under maintenance. Let's add the carrier. Here we can enter the airway bill number. If we have airway bill numbers in our system, we can use the set button to recall them. We're going to just enter it manually. If you have a booking number, you can enter it here and you can select your spotting and cut off dates and times. Enter where this booking was executed, by whom and when. You can enter a description of goods here or click this button to recall any information. Let's go ahead and select this one and then hit OK. Now let's go to the Entities tab. For this import, we'll select the shipper and consignee. We'll select our forwarding agent and destination agent. Here we can select our client to bill and now we can move on to the routing tab. We can select our service type. In this case, our mode of transportation will be air and our flight number already came from our trip, including the port of origin, the port of destination, and the dates and times. If we had any transfers, we can select each airport, the carrier, flight, and time. Now let's go to the Commodities tab, and for this import shipment, we can either click on the Add button for loose cargo, or we can add containerized cargo by clicking here. In this example, we'll just add loose cargo. Let's add a commodity. In here, we have a lot of information, so let's go over the basics. Let's enter a description, select the package type, for example, box, the number of pieces. In this example, we'll just enter one, enter the dimensions, and we can enter piece, weight, and volume here, or just totals by clicking on this button, selecting our measurement type. And in this example, we'll just enter the weight. If your items have value, just enter them here. Now let's click OK. And if we want to add charges, we can go to the charges tab. Normally charges are entered on the quotation level, but if you'd like to add them here, you could. Now let's go to events. And if your booking has any events, you can add them here. You can also add photos and documents here. If you have any additional notes, you can type them in here, or you could select this button and recall any information you like. Now let's go to the next tab called internal notes. You can use the new button to communicate amongst employees. If you configured custom fields under your maintenance, you'll see this custom tab. These fields are used to enter data not found within the standard booking. They can also be customized to come out on your templates. Once you're done, click the OK button, and now you have your booking. If you'd like to change your booking template, click on Actions, select Template. Once you have your template, you can print it or email it. Now let's take a quick look at our trip. If we select our trip and click the Edit button, you'll notice in the Bookings tab, we have the booking. The Commodities tab also has the commodities. If this trip is a consolidation, you can select the trip, then go to the Actions button and create a consolidation from this trip. In the last part of this video, we'll take a quick look at the bookings list. In the booking list, closed bookings are completed and open bookings are still pending. You can convert the booking into another transaction by selecting the booking and then going to the actions menu and then creating a pickup, warehouse receipt, or shipment. 
In this example, the create shipment option is great because we added the booking to the trip. In order to undo this, select the booking, click on the edit button, go to routing, and remove the trip association. Now when we go back to the actions of the booking, we can create a standalone shipment or add this booking to a previously created shipment. You have other options in the actions menu such as canceling bookings and even reports. So now let's take a quick moment to follow three easy steps in order to customize your booking list. First, click the actions button and choose your columns. Second, select your predefined dates or filter such as standard or advanced. And third, click here to save this view. Name your view and then when you click OK, you can select this view at any time. Be sure to check out the knowledge base for step-by-step -step articles you can print or email to help you use the software fully. Thanks for watching.